and if we are all together to come, okay, to you know to be, you know to become a very pious person, I like you know I think this hadith also is explaining that already. You're not gonna benefit. It's not gonna increase anything from Allah. So Allah does is not in need of you, and you are not capable to bring any goodness or any harm to Allah. Subhanallah. So this is what uh, uh, you know in this hadith. Uh, hadith Qursi, Allah is telling us. So the Shaykh is uh, explaining for us Bahana Hulisa Bihajat ila ibadati wa ta'atina. Ila ila ibadatina wa ta'atina. So Allah, you know, the Shaykh is saying, Allah doesn't need our what? Our worship for you to wake up and pray. Allah doesn't need that. Alright? And wa ta'atina, for us to always obey, obey Allah, Allah doesn't need it. It's not like when we obey Allah, it will increase anything in Allah. Or when we disobey him, it will increase anything. No. Allah command us to worship him and obey him for our own benefit. And it is what? Uh, it is a, uh, a favor from himself. It's Allah who gave us that favor that when you do good, he will you know, keep it for you and then you will be, you will inherit goodness more. So it is a fadl, a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For him to what? Ask you to do something, then you do it, it's for your goodness. It's like you had your job, okay? You have a good job, your boss is there. And even though in dunya, these people, they sometimes only work, they benefit from it. You understand? But here, what you are doing, you are doing it because you get paid. You will get paid. And you know when you don't do it, you don't go, you're not gonna get paid. It's the same thing. It's for your goodness. You understand? But Allah doesn't need you. Except here, anyone, everyone is need, in need. If he you are not there, he will hire someone. But you, if you don't worship Allah, Allah doesn't care. You obey Allah, you don't you disobey him. No, he doesn't need that. You understand? So Walam Tablubu Nafi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَبْلُغُ نَفْعِي مَهْمَا فَعَلْتَ الْتَعَاتُ وَالْحَسْرَةِ إِنَّكَ لَا تَنْفَعُ اللَّهُ بِهَا or إِلَا تَنْفَعُ اللَّهَ بِهَا Whatever you have done, if you want, you can go inside the Kaaba and pray a lot. Hundred, hundred and hundred of thousand of million of Quran day and night until you pass away. It's not going to increase anything. Allah doesn't need it. It's you at the end who need it. وَإِنَّمَا تَنْفَعُ نَفْسَ It's for your own benefit. That's why the Shaykh is uh, spreading. I think it's the same thing. And uh, he said, Ya ibadi, law anna, we go to the say, next one. Law, ya ibadi, law anna awwalakum wa akhirakum. And Allah is saying here, what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam related from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, law anna awwalakum wa akhirakum, wa insakum wa jinnakum. All right? He said, if you should disbelieve, oh my servant, where the first okay of you and the last of you until the end okay now and now the first of mankind who was that in our father adam okay and the last one who will be born who will survive on the earth all of you come together okay and uh, he brought the man mankind among the human among you okay and the jinn kind among you all, the first one who was created among the jinn, and the last one who will be born among the jinn, the first one, Adam alayhi salatu was the last one who was born, all of you will come together, and you will you know, stay in one place. Okay? So the Shaykh is explaining, say, we don't know about the jinn, okay, brothers, is another topic. Inshallah, next uh, one day we're going to talk about it, Inshallah. We're not going to, uh, you know, talk about it, Jin. The Sheikh is explaining here, Insakum wa Badu Adam. Insakum is the what? The mankind. It's the son, the children, the children of Adam. You are the son. From Adam until the end. And the Jinnakum, they are the uh, creation we don't see. But they see us. And they live with us. Right now, we can have the good one among them among us here. And someone, some, some people can have the ask also with their bare of us. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the jinn are the creation we don't see. 
but they can see us. The reason why, uh, you know, they can harm you, they can harm a person if the person is not protected. You understand? And we have explained that a lot of time. The, between you, your naked nakedness, and the sight of uh, the jinn, the bad jinn who are living in the restroom, is for you, when you enter the restroom, you say Bismillah. But the moment a person enters the restroom, they don't say it, the jinn are there. Brother, if you eat your food, you don't say, La Aida, we eat him. Anyone who grab the first spoon and put his mouth without saying Bismillah, you eat with the jinn, the shaitan. And it will never benefit you. Because the moment he put his hand in your food, there's no barakah. Until even between a man and his wife, or the wife and uh, the, the woman and her husband, if they are come together and then they don't say the name of Allah, the dua the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tell us, shaitan will be the, the attack best. The reason why today we see a lot of uh, children, you don't even know, is this my child? You ask yourself sometimes. Hey, you have to ask yourself, go back also, the moment always you have in your house with your wife, have you said the name of Allah? You understand? Because the moment the name of Allah, it can harm, can be, I don't, I don't know all the time. I'm not saying it all the time. It can happen that the jinn will be the third one for us. So we have protect us. So we have the, 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 the creation we don't really see. We don't see. And some people use them to harm other people. You will see those who are doing shirk. And for a person to have the control of jinns, well, like they have to really make something that bring the anger of Allah. Because the always people are dealing with, okay, they say, oh, I have uh, my, my, my jinn, the good one. Who told you the good one? The jinn, the good one, don't, don't go and do anything with Abedi Adam. They are worshiping their Lord like us. It's the bad one who will always deal with you know, human being. You will see a person, they say, oh, but he's pronouncing the name of Allah, he's Quran, he's doing it. No. People go to the Marabu and they will ask for everything, but he's just reading the Quran. You have to be careful. You have to be careful. They are pronouncing the name of the jinns. And they, they are doing certain things that you never imagine. When you read the way they do their thing, they wrote their books, anything you want to deal with jinn, it is it's all the things that bring the end of Allah. You have to bury an animal alive. You have to pray naked without facing the qibla. You have to pray on the skin of a dog or a, you know, a pork. It's a lot of thing. It's a lot. Or you go inside, the, you know, at the cemetery to take shower naked. Or you walk around the city naked for a while. It's a lot of things, brothers. So they have, you, they have to, you know, really make something angry. Allah that will bring the end of Allah before you deal with them. You will see a person who has like, you know, even 50 genes, they deal with him. The reason why if you don't, you don't protect yourself, okay, he will tell you, I will, I will show you. Then at night you're not going to sleep. Then you as ignorant, you will say, no, oh, I'm sorry. No. No. You have, you have the weapon that can, you know, protect you. That, you, you know, you can use to kill all these people. So we don't want to go to the gym. The, uh, the Shaykh she is saying, oh, well, These are the, uh, the second world that we don't need, we don't see. Okay? Al jinn la illallah. La nara. Nobody knows them except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we don't see them. sunnu bil jinn. There is one they are called jinn. Jinn khan. In Arabic language, jinn is what? Ihtina. Something that can what? Hide. That is hidden. معنى الاختفاء يس قال قال تعالى إنه يراك أسد الله سبحانه وتعالى تل 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 أسد سوى الأعراف إنه يراك سترني he is watching you he can see you هو وقبيله him and his community they can see you على بسم الله they can see you من حيث لا ترونهم while you cannot even see them فهو موجودون ويعيشون معنا ومنهم مؤمن وكافر بشيء يسترني ذات they are always with us also. We all know that, you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the moment the human being are, you know, always uh, rejecting his call, the jinn, some jinn already accept. 
هو كان بريم من الآية قل أوهي إلي أنه استمع نفر من الجن فقالوا إنا سمينا وال قرآن العجبة أن دسمات يهدي إلى روش أن يسفع عام النبي وأن يهف عام النبي هذا جس قل أوهي إلي أنه استمع نفر من الجن A group of jinn have heard the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Quran Okay? And if I call in a sami'na, we heard Okay? Quran and Ajaba They read in a book that is written It is so, it ain't strange Okay? It's so strange But Yahdi ila Rush It guide Okay? It guide to the guidance It guide to the what? To the right path But we ta'ab al-nabi Walam nushirika Mirabbi al-ahad We don't want to commit shirk anymore. We used to know that the people who are in the world are the Quran. So when they were in the world, they said to them. The Quran, when they are reciting the Quran, even the jinns, sometimes the, the good ones come and listen. The bad ones are the ones, okay, they run away. The reason why when a jinn possess a person, when they read the Quran, you see them acting differently. So as a human being, if you don't have jinn, And the moment your wife or your husband put the Quran and you run away from the from the room, you have to check yourself. May Allah protect us. So I think it's time. <laughs> it's already time. May Allah protect us. I'm sorry because we don't do it every. Uh, I think next week, inshallah, we're gonna uh, complete this, inshallah. Sunday. Sunday, right? So to tell us that uh, the Sheikh is saying, you know, I will just finish the, uh, the, the line of the Sheikh. He said, "Wa minhum mutay." You will see the one who are always obeying Allah and those who commit sin, they disobey Allah. You will see the one okay, who is so obedient and the shaqi, okay, the one who doesn't listen, who is rebelled. It's the same thing as we have among us. The good one and what? The bad one. So, alam min alim al la It is hidden well. We don't see them. They start living with us the moment a human being becomes a curious person. They want to deal with jinn. That's the reason why this jinn start to be with them. Otherwise, they leave. You see the bridge, and you see the, the place that are, that's the place they live. All the houses that are, you know, abandoned. Okay? You build a house, you know, you know go there, they stay there. But the moment they heard you, you start moving, pop, they run away. But today, they don't even run. They live with us. Because a human being is the one whose kids start call, calling them. You will see a person who have his very deep uh, shepherd, the tasbih, okay? He's pronouncing the name of you. Yeah, sir, Kalabino and all those things. May Allah protect us from this. Subhanakallah, we have a dick. The shadow of the Allah, he loves us. We love 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 us. We